Hey there, I'm Alan Matthews from Classical Guitar Shed, and in this video we're going to talk about excellence versus perfectionism, what each are and how we can have more of the former and less of the latter. If you enjoy it, please subscribe to this channel. Let's do it! In our culture, we sometimes fetishize perfectionism. I'm demanding and I want only the best results, I won't take any less it's a little bit unrealistic and what it does is it makes us focus, perfectionism focuses only on the outcome. Is the outcome perfect, yes or no? And that's the only question it's asking really. And so when it's not absolutely perfect in every way, whatever criteria we've chosen, then we fail, bad. That was not perfect, therefore it's bad. And so then we feel bad about ourselves, we get frustrated, we just think, oh, I should just give up. And all these different things, right? This is the nature of perfectionism. It's also a great procrastination technique because we can say, well, it's not perfect yet and so I can't share it with my friends or I can't play this for my, my lovely lady because it's not perfect yet. Whew, good thing it's not perfect. So it's a way to procrastinate. Excellence, on the other hand, is not about, it's not focused on, just on, the end result, is it perfect, yes or no, it's focused on process. So instead of playing a beautiful piece, I'm gonna play this piece perfectly. Well, that's a perfectionistic thing. I'm going to play this with excellence. Well, we wouldn't actually say that probably, but what that means is that we're gonna focus on the process. That I have one note to begin with, and then another note, and then another note. And each note is gonna to connect to the next in a beautiful way, I'm gonna work on, I'm gonna keep the best I can do with my movements and my tone quality and my rhythm and my speed and my swells and fades and everything. I think that was a little bit out of tune, but it was, we can look at each little element and then work on those. And that is process-based. And whenever we're process-based, we are doing the thing that will ultimately lead to a better finished product, perhaps perfect finished product that will get us closer to perfectionism than focusing on perfectionism would to begin with. So to practice excellence, we need to have a little bit of objectivity. We can't be emotionally tied to every single note. Oh no, I'm worthless. We, we, if, we, if we're going to do that, then we're just gonna get distracted and we're gonna build all these like just negativity in and we're just gonna leave feeling terrible after our practice. Instead, we have to be a little bit objective. We have to just observe what's going on. Oh, that was the wrong note. What was I doing there? How am I going wrong? How can I fix it? Um, how can I get that right next time? Should I slow down? Oftentimes that's the answer. There it is. So we need to be objective in our practice and not emotionally attached to every little thing. The other thing is that when we do make mistakes, especially when we're sharing with people and we're in front of people and might be nervous anyway, we have to forgive ourselves for any, any little mistakes we do make and know that that's all part of the game. Nobody plays perfectly. Like even the, the you know, even Segovia and the, and the great grand poobahs of, of guitar, Nobody plays perfectly all the time. We all buzz notes and miss notes and forget something. It, it happens to everyone. And so then we need to forgive ourselves and not take it personally when it happens. We should just know there's a good chance that something might go wrong. But if I'm focused on things going right, if I'm focusing on the process of connecting one note to the next, of making these notes get louder and making these notes get softer, of keeping my rhythm really driving through this section, all those little things, then we're not gonna be so wounded by, oh, I forgot a part and had to go back to the beginning or something like that. If we're really working on excellence, then it doesn't really need to be perfect because the point has changed. The goals of the game have now changed. So objectivity, forgiveness and acceptance for ourselves, these are things that will lead us to better playing, more enjoyable practices, and a generally better experience of guitar. All right, I hope you have enjoyed this little discussion on excellence and perfectionism. 
And if you have, please subscribe to this channel by clicking the big button down below. And we'll do it again soon. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.